good show for y'all. That a damn good show. RFK Jr., he went on CNN, and he shut it down. He left them fools speechless, huh? Speechless. Check it out. A moment ago, you said you you essentially see Trump and Biden as the same, different different issues. But do you really believe that when people talk about the threat to democracy that Trump poses, do you really think that that is is this an equal yeah, evil I mean, to I, Biden? I, I mean, listen, I can make the argument that President Biden is a much worse threat to democracy, and the reason for that is President Biden is the first candidate in history, the first president in history that has used the federal agencies to censor political speech, so to censor his opponent. I, you know, I can say that because I just won a case in the Federal Court of Appeals and now before the Supreme Court. It shows that he started censoring not just me. For 37 hours after he took the oath of office, he was censoring me. No president in the country has ever done that. The greatest threat to democracy is not somebody who questions election returns, but a president of the United States who used the power of his office to force the social media companies, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, to open a portal and give the access to that portal to the FBI, to the CIA, to the IRS, to CISA, to NIH, to censor his political critics. President Biden, for the first, first president in history, to use the secret, his power over the Secret Service, to deny Secret Service protection to one of his political opponents for political reasons. He's weaponizing the federal agencies. Yep. He's the, I think he's the last true liberal we have. Well, and liberals and conservatives are pretty much like this. Yeah. It's just everybody in the Democratic Party that you can't, you can no longer consider them to be liberal. They they call themselves progressives, and progressive is just a euphemism for oh. idiot, batshit crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they and they keep using this hyperbole that that Trump is the threat to democracy. Who's trying to remove Trump from the damn uh, ballots? <laughs> That is crazy. Who tried to? Who Joe tried Biden, to? and it, and you know Joe Biden's got something to do with that. And that's an extension of Joe Biden's administration just over the justice system. The only reason why they're pursuing Trump right now, that's the only reason why they're pursuing him in court for fraud and all these these made up allegations. Trumped up charges. Biden is doing all that, but they yeah. keep saying Trump is the threat to democracy. But a lot of uh, progressives they like to project. They just say we're going to say this, but we're going to do the exact same thing that we're accusing them of doing. And not only, uh, hell, not only are they trying to keep him off the body, they're trying to throw his ass in jail. Yeah. I, I, you know what? When it comes down to our next president, I could care less if it's JFK Jr. or uh, Donald Trump. So long as it's not Joe Biden. So long as it's not a progressive. Yeah. If somebody labeled label themselves as progressive, man, that person is a threat against democracy. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. Y'all probably say, oh, man, you, you, you turn liberal on me. Nope. I'm still going to vote for Trump, but if Trump loses and JFK wins, I'm just as happy because anybody that goes on national TV and calls out Joe Biden, what he's doing to our country. Yeah. You know, I, I can only support that. Yeah. I don't care if you're liberal conservative. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're liberal conservative. What matters is what's right and what's wrong. And what Joe Biden is doing to our country is totally wrong. Totally. That's well said, man. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I stayed up all night. I came over that speech last night. You just came over right now. Shut up. No, man, I wrote it down, man. Memorized. I just showed you the damn video. How you going to come up last night? I didn't show you the video. I'm psychic. I knew you was going to show it to me. Anyway, RFK. I'm going to open up my own 1-800 line. 1-800-CALL-KEVIN. <laughs> Who's going to be the next president? Man, you should already know that. Click. Get it? Yeah, but um hey man, I'm cracking jokes over here. You ain't even laughing. <laughs> Making me look bad. Yeah, I kinda um I kinda wish like the whole thing with the last election, I wish that never would have happened at the uh, at the Capitol. Yeah. I wish that none of that stuff went down. I just wish Trump would have conceded conceded. But why would you concede if you think the election has been been you know Well look what happened. Yeah. A woman lost her life. Right. A Trump supporter, and it just it, there's clips and videos. It was mostly peaceful, yeah. but there's clips that Democrats have used against Republicans. Yeah, and, and I, they've painted and they've used these clips to paint Trump as a as some kind of demagogue and it's a threat to 
Yeah. A threat to our democracy. He even called it an insurrection. Insurrection is when you willfully try to take over your government. How are you going to take over the government with no guns? Keep in mind, who's the gun nuts in this country? <laughs> Republicans. Second Amendment advocates. Not do like a typical Republican. Do they have one gun, two guns? No, they're like me. I got like 10 guns at the house. Yeah. Tens of thousands of rounds. If they would, uh, if, if those uh, patriots at the Capitol on January 6th, those Trump supporters, if they wanted to take over the government that day, they would have. They had the numbers. <laughs> they just didn't have any weapons. Yeah. Their intent there was to protest. It got out of hand. Yeah. But, you know, when and Tucker Carlson tried to point, you know, paint a different perspective, all of a sudden he lost his job, right? Yeah. And then that second perspective that he painted didn't align with what was being painted by the left, yeah. by the progressives. Yeah. Because you can take anything, you can twist it to fit your own narrative. And you can, you seen from the footage how everything went down on January 6th. You've seen intensely what the progressive media did. They intensely twisted that narrative to fit their agenda. Yeah. After Tucker Carlson exposed it, what happened? Those people was getting walked in. They was being escorted by the police. Yeah. Bunch of gun nuts. Yeah. Didn't... Not one gun was confiscated or used, but yeah. it's an insurrection. They're yeah. taking over. They're going to take over the gun. It was a coup attempt. Yeah. 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 I, I hope that God Trump wins his next election, but if he loses, if he happened to lose, I just hope it's not Joe Biden. That's the, I could, if JFK Jr. wins, I'm happy. If Trump wins, I'm happy. I'm voting for Trump. I'm hoping for Trump. But if that don't work out, if that don't come to fruition, man, at least Joe Biden didn't get in office. Yeah, you know what's crazy? Uh, Democrats don't even, like, the current polling, like, um, RFK is taking more from Democrats than he is from Republicans. So yeah. it tells you right there, he was the best candidate. Mm -hmm. If only they had allowed him to run. But they didn't allow him to run. Why? Because it's not we the people. The Democrat Party chooses who they want yeah. to run for president. They hand select. They are gatekeepers. Republican yeah. Party, it's up to us who we choose, who we want to run as, you yeah. know, be our they president. Say, they say Republicans are a threat to a democracy. They kept uh, their best candidate from running because he doesn't fit their narrative. Yeah. He does not fit the direction they want this country to go in. He just exposed what everybody was already thinking, what Joe Biden is doing, what the things yeah. that— uh, how tr Trump is being persecuted? All oh, that's because of Joe Biden. Well, his minions, the left's minions, the progressive minions. Yeah. Oh man, he's a threat to democracy. Oh man, that was an insurrection at the Capitol. Oh man, it's a men rich. can have vaginas. Man, what are you talking about? <laughs> that dude, he identifies as a woman. He can use a woman's restroom. Hey, he wears a dress. He could go in a woman's restroom now. Think about how crazy that is. Yeah. And Joe Biden, his first day in office, he signed a, um, what you call it? He signed some legislative Executive branch. order. Saying you can't discriminate against, you cannot discriminate against somebody's gender identity. <laughs> that is crazy. That's a damn good show.